Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Truth, and it's time to go back to the couch, because this is a film that's streaming on Prime Video. It's a new year. It's time for another new film with Jennifer Lopez getting married. But will it be just as good as the others? My review of the 2023 romantic comedy action film, Shotgun Wedding, coming up now. <laughs> Darcy and Tom are preparing to get married on a private island in the Philippines. Their family and friends have gathered together to celebrate in the destination wedding of a lifetime. Right before the ceremony begins, the couple are having a private talk when pirates crash the party and take the group of their family and friends hostage. Now Darcy and Tom must try and save their loved ones from the pirates. So what did I think of Shotgun Wedding? I thought it's a terrible romantic action comedy. It's directed by Jason Moore, who's best known for directing films such as Pitch Perfect and Sisters. Ooh, it's yet another awful Jennifer Lopez wedding movie. And when you think about them or look at her IMDb, it's surprising how many she's been in. This is the film that Army Hammer was supposed to co-star in, but dropped out because of his cannibal controversy and was replaced with Josh Dumau. And evidently, even before Hammer, Ryan Reynolds was set to star. I actually thought that both actors were a bit too old to be playing the roles that seemed like they were written for people in their late 30s. No matter who stars in the film, it can't save the story and script, which is ghastly. Everything here is 100% predictable, from what the pirates want and an eye-rolling twist that happens about halfway through. There are cliches aplenty out of the rom-com Wedding 101 playbook, such as the maid of honor sleeping with the best man. The action sequences are all rather lame, and certainly nothing we haven't seen done before. The comedy falls flat at every turn, and I barely laughed at any of the material other than a snicker or two. It even tries slapstick and fails big time at that. Even the outtakes and the end credits are unfunny and lame. There's also some very corny moments, such as the entire wedding party singing the song I'll Be by Edwin McCain. So many characters just exist here and have nothing to do and certainly are paper thin with only one or two traits. Darcy is also a very unlikable character and comes off as highly annoying. Everything about the film feels forced, especially the fact that there's no chemistry at all between the two leads. The cast stars Jennifer Lopez as Darcy Rivera, the bride-to-be who just wanted a simple wedding. Josh Dumal as Tom Fowler, the minor league baseball player who just lost his contract. Jennifer Coolidge as Carol Fowler, Tom's loud mother. Cheech Marin as Robert Rivera, Darcy's wealthy father. And Lenny Kravitz as Sean Hawkins, Darcy's former fiancé, who's invited to the wedding for reasons. Shotgun Wedding is an unfunny, forgettable, rough sit that is an experience you definitely won't want to RSVP for. Number-wise, I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of Shotgun Wedding. I only got two words for ya. Suck it! All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West Troop A List. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.